What's going on everyone? Golden Ticket History coming to you from my car again for another edition of Haunted Discussions. So, uh, you know, I've been doing these these videos for about two months now or so. You know, every time I turn around, I find myself pondering and thinking about various different topics that fall within the paranormal sphere. And I decided to take these conversations and extend them into the YouTube and social media universe to see your input on these topics. For today's uh, edition of Haunted Discussions, I've been thinking about a concept that I haven't really seen a whole lot in modern times. But when I first started getting into the paranormal and first started reading about the supernatural and haunted places and going through older text... I remember there used to be pages upon pages upon pages of this phenomenon in the books. However, you don't really hear much about it anymore. And that's the concept, that's the phenomenon of ectoplasm. For those of you who don't know, ectoplasm is like happens typically during things like seances when someone who's a medium or someone who's sensitive or a psychic is trying to communicate with the supernatural realm. And the energy has now expanded and, exp and uh, excreted itself in the form of a, a physical just mess, I guess you could say. And I remember when I used to read books from like Hans Holzer, that was probably one of the f oldest texts that I ever read on the topic of haunted places and the supernatural. And I remember pages upon pages going through the Encyclopedia of Haunted Places and various other texts written by Holzer and other more prominent authors from that time period. There would be pages upon pages on the topics of ectoplasm. There would be pictures of mediums carrying out seances and they would have the ectoplasm excreting from their nose and from their body in this pile of just mess. But in modern times, you never really hear about ectoplasm anymore. Where did it go? What happened? Was, uh, was ectoplasm something that was actually occurring during these time periods? Was, was it doctored up? Like, what was actually going on? I'm not, uh, I haven't really had a chance to really dive deeply into this conversation from a re research perspective. So there could be a valid so answer or solution to why this this occurrence has ceased to happen in modern times, but I wanted to go to all of you first to see, you know, what were your thoughts? Did you, uh, what were your experiences with ectoplasm? Have you physically seen ectoplasm yourself in physical form? Have you experienced ectoplasm being excreted from yourself during seances or other communications with the spiritual world? Or uh, do you think that it was potentially just something that was going on in the past to try to make the topics of the occult and the macabre more superstitious or more supernatural or just more unique to try to get people to either be more drawn to it or maybe to discourage some people from being near it? What are your thoughts? You know, uh, let me know in the comments. What are you thinking about the topics of ectoplasm? Do you believe that it was actually something that was occurring in real life? And have you had experiences? I know it's difficult sometimes to post comments on some specific topics, but if you have some experiences, I would love to hear what your experiences are. As well as if you believe that maybe these pictures or these phenomenon maybe were not as truthful as they should be. Or could have been, or should have been, or were. You know, let me know in the comments. You know, let me know what your your thoughts are on the topic of ectoplasm. But, as always, continue to look for the history in film. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next vlog. If you've been liking my videos, please make sure to like, rate, subscribe. As well as let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see next. Or what topics you may want me to cover in the future. You know, I, I keep going through and I haven't really done much of a, a, a list or anything like that. You know, essentially every single one of these videos are typically off the fly. I start allowing my, my mind to wander about various different topics within the sphere of the paranormal. And at any moment's notice, I pick a topic that I decide to discuss and evaluate or critique. 
So as always, continue to look for the history and film. I look forward to seeing you guys all on the next video. Until next time, have a great one, everyone.